while the video for uh, December 9th and 10th is being uploaded to YouTube, we'll begin uh, this segment. Uh, I have to comment and man mention that uh, the way things go, in many cases, there there is no, as I said before, there is no real end to the day, no beginning to the day. Uh, in many cases, they're chosen arbitrarily, depending on what's going on during the day. And so what happens in many cases, the segments uh, are going to reflect that. So sometimes I'll be saying, this is an opening video, but or an opening segment to the, the daily vlog, but it's not necessarily an opening segment. Uh, it, that's what it was at the time, but in terms of how I edit it, it may be edited into another day, and so you'll have two days merged into one because the actual workflow uh, of that time period flowed from one day into the next. Uh, and this is kind of the way it is now. We're uh, January 6th. Uh, it is uh, just about 8.30 in the morning. And uh, yeah, 8 hours and 30 minutes into the uh, 6th day of January. And uh, I just finished a load of work. I'm going to go get some rest now. But uh, Monday was completely rough, rough because I was waiting for deliveries to come in. Uh, I didn't know whether or not the delivery people uh, were aware that I have the larger drop bin. Some of them do and some of them don't. And so I was concerned by that. And it actually follows you into your dream. And you can sort of see sometimes that, that my eyes are barely open. Right now my eyes are barely open. and they're Actually, they're closed. And that's because I can't keep them open. There is an element of fatigue in here because the time, the day... Days often merge into one, and that's what's going to happen today and tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be going tonight. I'll be going to a all night vigil, the a, 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 a prayer meditation service, uh, and I won't be back till four o'clock in the morning. Then uh, I have to be up again in the morning for uh, Christmas because uh, uh, tomorrow is my Christmas. So it's the Eastern Christmas. This is the the one that sort of gives you the extra the extra. Uh, the extra bit of Christmas all the way down to the 19th because then you have 12 days of Christmas after that. Other people sort of picked up the 12 days of Christmas, added added more of the 12 days of Christmas back into their thing. I noticed that this year as compared to last year, so that's a good thing. Uh, and then you're celebrating something that's happy. You're celebrating, you're celebrating peace and friendship and, and joy in addition to uh, the religious aspects of things, the the, I'm not going to say, I shouldn't actually say it's the religious, religious, religious aspect. There is religious aspects, of it, but there's also, uh, uh, and I understand, because again, religion is something you follow, well, as the term says, religiously. The, the, the definition of the word religion and religious is something you do by ritual. Something you do by choice is not ritual. So if you're choosing to celebrate Christmas, then it's not necessarily a ritual. You, this is something that you you want to do. You're not simply following along. So it's not a religious thing necessarily. Some people do take it as a religious thing, but other people don't. There are other people who 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 just simply they celebrate it because they that's what they like. And this is sort of the situation I am. I do things because I want to do things, not necessarily because I have to do them. Uh, there isn't a, a, you know, going to church is not a ritual. It's part of, it's part of the meditation. It's part of the meditation routine. And it keeps me within the meditation routine. Is it now I'm up on, I'm, I'm, I'm upgrading. I'm moving up on a weekly basis as opposed to a monthly or bi-monthly basis. So that's an improvement over what I had been doing before. And this is sort of keeps in line with the way things have, have been going. And even the way the vlogging has been going, even though there have been setbacks, uh, there have also been sort of good steps forward. So the, uh, the overall result on a weekly basis is I'm moving forward. And that's, for me, a good thing. It, it, it is a, uh, something that I'm happy with. And I do, in many cases, 
look forward to the things I'm going to enjoy because I know I have a weekly upgrade, even though there are things that I'm behind on, things that I still need to work out in terms of getting uh, the show meditations out, getting getting out the show uh, uh, tweet line plus. These different things have to be worked into uh, the schedule in such a way that it doesn't interfere with the schedule, that it flows properly, just like the vlogging does. So sometimes things are going to be added on one day, sometimes they're going to be the, the next day, and you don't know until you get into the actual day, the actual period of time where you're doing the work. You're not going to know until until then, in terms of how fast it goes, what problems pop up, what things sort of uh, can be done, or if are there are problems that sort of stop you or, or, or force you onto another track. Anyways, that's it for now. And I'll probably see you later on tonight, uh, a little bit before Christmas. There's the bus! It's the beginning of the day, and it's the end of the day. This is kind of an opening from, uh, I think it's Charles Dickens. <laughs> It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. <laughs> all, in the, all at the same time. And this is what happens when you when you live a 24-hour life for seven days a week. Uh, there is no end to the day, there's no beginning of the day, it's one continuous uh, existence. The only routine you have, the standard routine you have is, uh, for me anyways, is my YouTube stroll. And that's what I'm about to do. Uh, it is Christmas, it is January 7th, uh, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas in the East, this is the second Christmas, and it's the beginning of the, uh, first day of Christmas, and we have another 12 days left, we have 12 days left to go, so, uh, we won't be finishing Christmas, uh, until January 19th, uh, I had a, a, a good Christmas, uh, most people don't want to be on the vlog and my family, so, uh, there was no vlogging going on, <laughs> I took some pictures from my family and sent them out to the family that they're in Boston and uh, had a good time. And so now I'm back again, just sort of sitting in the saddle. I just did some, uh, I did some uh, research work. I did some uh, of the gaming work I needed to get done. Uh, the gaming, because they're gaming often intertwines with uh, studying because it does require a, a, a fair bit of studying to do the gaming. Uh, but most people don't necessarily understand that most people who are involved, particularly on things with Twitter, uh, don't take it, from, take it from the gaming aspect. But I think it's just both sides. Both sides have gone completely off the rails. They don't know what's going on. They really have no clue what's happening. Yet, the, they're, they're, they're so stuck in their positions that they're battling things out that doesn't, that don't, no longer even matter. <laughs> we talk about Edward Bernays. What did Edward Bernays know, the, the nephew of Sigmund Freud, as com about the average person? The average person doesn't think. It doesn't matter what side they're on, left or right. They will battle each other, left and right, over a topic that neither are right about. Both because the option isn't A or B, but C, D, or E. You know, they, there's a number of different other options instead of just the two that the, the they're actually fighting over. But the two who are locked in battle are locked in battle. And in many cases, the issue no longer is, is, is no longer central to the battle, central to the, the conflict between the two. It's the, the, it's the clash for status that becomes the primary issue. And they don't see how they're going to end up destroying each other. And a person who has, understands the term neutral gin and this is a, a, a term from within uh, the Asian 
understanding of gnosis, of knowledge. The Asian understanding of knowledge is fundamentally different from the West. It doesn't have the sense of abstractness that the West does. The West is just about abstract thought and you 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 bring your abstract thought into popularity oh, essentially by assertion. You assert your authority, you assert your position, you assert your status, and your status becomes the stamp of approval, the stamp of well, the of authority that says that you're right and everybody else is wrong. And as I said, I think I've said this before that the the left are just as religious as the right are. It just the, the religious religious and religion does not have to include God. If you believe in something but you have no proof of it, but you follow along with the, with the, with the dictates, the dictates. And this is conforming to the group's rules without necessarily thinking about them. You're following a group, you follow a group's rules you know, religiously, you know, without thinking, uh, how you dress, how you talk, the music you listen to, different things like that. Well, that's your religion. And it doesn't necessarily have to do anything, about God, have to do anything with God. And you'll see groups argue and fight over uh, you know the types of music you're supposed to like the type of the way how you're supposed to wear your hair how you're supposed to uh, they, they, you know an emo person would get very upset if you called them goth a goth person would ever be very upset if you call them emo and then that group split the group splits even further is you know you have goth and emo but you also have seen now and if you don't know the differences between the two then oh then you're Part of the mainstream crowd. Well, no, not necessarily. You may just not care, care about it. You don't care about that particular identity or, or any identity. Uh, you know, you have to belong to one group or another. But, and this is, this is something that dawned on me very, very early is that, you know, going to a number of these concerts and, you know, you, you go to a concert and you have to buy your official t-shirts and, and so on and so forth and, I wouldn't do that. I'd always buy the stuff that was cheap on the outside. Uh, these sort of the, the knockoff. You, you really couldn't. You couldn't tell the difference between a knockoff and the real and the real T-shirt. So you just bought the, the knockoff ones. I mean, if you can't tell the difference, what? Why spend? If you can spend five bucks or two dollars on a T-shirt, and it's the same as the ones on the Insta who are official, <coughs> but the ones in the official you're paying twenty twenty to fifty dollars for the T-shirt. No way. I don't have that kind of money. The thing is, you, you, you go to the concerts and everybody, everybody's buying merchandise. The people who say that they are, not a lot, they are not mainstream, that they have their own identity, go to the concerts and they're all dressed alike. The whole thing of individual dress, being against the crowd, not following the crowd, it's completely gone. Again, this has nothing to do with God. This, has, it, this is following a, following a band. The type of music you like. The type, you know, going to a particular type of show, event, concert, or this or that. And so the left, in many ways, are just as religious as the right are. And they're just as sanctimonious, just as self-righteous. And they don't see how the battle that's going on in the United States has destroyed the United States. Europe is completely gone. There's no hope for you in Europe, any, but now there's no hope for the United States. The United States is gone. There is no more America. <clears throat> it's, uh, it depends on how you know it's going to remain to be seen how long it takes for the rest rest of America to catch on. Now, I I, I was born in the United States. I'm American not in the sense of uh, that most people think that, uh, the American sense. The American sense is about being an individual. It's about being uh, self-sufficient. It's about being free. Most people don't believe that. Most people believe in government. That most people believe 
that they have fair elections and that, that people are properly chosen and there's no fraud going on and so on and so forth. And so they just follow along what they're told on the news. They believe everything they're told on the news. They don't question anything. And that's their existence. And they don't want to question it. They want to believe that everything is fine. And so that's the way it is. We go into the two... Oh, we're so happy 2020 is over. Why? Because Trump is gone. And what's going to change? Nothing. Nothing's going to change. The lockdowns aren't going to end. And then we, but we were told this at the beginning. Always from when Trump was first elected, we were told this. That nothing's going to change. That the Democrats... Are going to do what they whatever they want to do because they're the deep state. They are the state of bureaucracy. They are the government of bureaucracy, <clears throat> and that's what we're having now. This isn't a health issue. What's going on now? The lockdown. This is a bureau a bureaucracy issue. This is how the bureaucrats operate. Don't believe me? Go back to to uh, the nineteen eighties. Go in look for a TV show on the BBC called. Yes, Minister, and you will find everything that we're facing today with the government in the show, Yes, Minister, from, from the BBC. It's all there. Every issue we're dealing with today, it's all there. Nothing new. Same old, same old. But most people have no concept of history. They have no concept of, uh, of what reality is. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here. This is uh, sort of it for now. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the evening. Oh, no, it's actually uh, yeah, it's about 9 o'clock in the evening. I'm going on to my YouTube stroll. Uh, we'll see how I come back, and we'll see how I edit, end up editing uh, this uh, these series of videos uh, into a vlog. <clears throat> 